Hey everybody, Mac here, and we have something very different today. We have these. We have the Playmobil, I almost said Lego. We have the Playmobil Blind Bags Series 11. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this. And yes, I know, Series 11, for anybody out there that collects Playmobil, Series 11 came out in 2016. Let me get to that. The first reason I'm doing this is because I haven't done a blind bag opening in some time, and for some reason, where I live, we have not gotten the new Lego minifig blind bags at all. They haven't landed anywhere near where I'm at, and those would be the Looney Tunes collections. And I'm really looking forward to those, and I really want those, but we just don't have them yet. Another reason I'm doing these is because... I might be diving into some Playmobil sets in the future. I'm not entirely sure yet, but this is just like a little bit of a primer. I haven't I haven't had anything Playmobil in probably 40 years, and I'm dating myself right there, I know, but <clears throat> I want to take a look at it. I wanted to see it, see them again. And the other reason I'm doing these is because these are a dollar. These are at the Dollar Tree. You can pick these up for a dollar. So I don't know what I have. I tried to feel around in the bags. I don't know what I have. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if there's more to this line than what is on the bag. We're going to find out when we open these. And let's not waste any more time. Let's just dive into these, get the knife, and we'll see what we get. Now, the reason I might be diving into Playmobil soon is because I've been wanting to get something for Ghostbusters. What do we have here? Oh, we got the we got the Centurion or the Gladiator rather. That's very cool. This is a lot of parts. <laughs> okay, we're going to do like what we did with the Mega Constructs figures and we're just going to set them to the side and I'll put them together later. But we do have a checklist here. So, what do we have for Oh, we only have 12. So there's a very good chance I'm going to be able to get this whole set because, like I said, they're at the dollar store. They're overwhelmingly in bins at the dollar store. So there's a very good chance I'm going to be able to get all of these. But like I was saying, I want to get um, something for Ghostbusters, and I was never a big fan of the Kenner line, so the Hasbro retro set that's out right now isn't really doing anything for me. Also, I'm not a big fan of the Plasma series that's out right now, because that's just a couple of characters in Ecto-1. We're not going to get anything else with that, but the Playmobil Ghostbusters set is so decked out. You have Ecto-1, you have all of the characters, you have Ghosts, you have Slimer, you have the Firehouse... And it all looks great, and I'm really considering getting it. So I just wanted to see what we have here. Who is this? Let's see here. Um, it looks like it's this guy, whatever that is. So we'll put him together. And now the last one. What we have is, is this a, oh, we got the pirate. I love pirates. No, wait, this isn't the pirate. Who is this? Oh, it's our steampunk guy. Well, that's cool too. All right. Let me give, give me a minute. Let me put these together and I'll be right back. Okay. So here they are out of the bag and all put together and two things. One, putting them together, there was a little bit more to them than what I was expecting. And two, these are way more detailed and just cool than I remember when I was a kid, when they were just basically oversized Lego minifigs, that they've really used the size to the advantage, that they've done up the paint deco, they've given them a little bit more character, and we're going to start with our guy in the middle, the gladiator here, who I do like, but truthfully is probably the most basic of all of the figures that we have. Everything is put together, and I really like that he even has a spot on his belt to carry his sword. Okay, so we have this emblem on his shield. We have the crest on there. I don't think he's a gladiator. He's a centurion, maybe. It's hard to tell. It could be either way. He could be a gladiator. It could be a centurion. Either way, he looks cool. I really, really like 
the look of this guy with the sandals the the blue on the gold we even got an extra helmet with it <laughs> but articulation if you're not familiar with playmobil basically the head turns the arms go up and down and the legs move as one. They're joined together. So if one leg moves, they both move. And there is wrist swivel. But that guy looks really cool. I really like him. Now we're going to take a look at our steampunk scientist. <laughs> I don't know what he's supposed to be. Like, obviously, he's steampunk. He has a little, he has a little blunderbuss here, which is really cool. With a little add-on there. He has things hanging off of his belts or off of his sash. This looks really cool. The detail on this is really, really cool. All those gears and everything in there, I really like that. The look of his metal eye patch. The detail on his, on his torso piece. The belt kind of covers it up a little. But you can see other gears in the gold on like a red sort of velvet. And the spats on the boots, the, the leather... Leather. The, the leather-looking cuffs, half-gloves that he has. The goggles. This is a really cool guy. I don't know what, um, what series Playmobil has that he would go to, or maybe he used to go to, or if it's just they made him, but that is really cool. And then finally, as I was saying, I was looking to getting into Ghostbusters because I really like... The Ghostbusters set, I like Ecto-1, I like the fire station. Uh, they even have things that are in reference to the real Ghostbusters, which is the cartoon, which I did like the cartoon. I just didn't like the Kenner and now Hasbro retro line. I just, it never did anything for me. But the Playmobil stuff, mainly because of the vehicles and the sets, look really good. And here we have some sort of undead butler with a crystal or jello skull on a platter. He's also the only one that comes with a stand. This came with him. This little stand came with him that you slip his feet between. And I think the reason he came with one is because whenever you display him like this, he is pretty front, front heavy that he wanted to keep falling over. But we have the lid. Whoop. The skull kind of wants to flip around. Ah! Give me one second. Okay. We have the lid and we can cover it up if we want to so he can just be serving it and he's really cool and he'll fit in well with the Ghostbusters line once if I get it I don't know if he glows in the dark I don't think he does but that is that is what we have for the first one all in all each one of these was a buck not a bad haul for the first time around so wait let's move these guys back let's take a look at this checklist here just to see what we have coming down the line. So I definitely want the pirate. I love me some pirates, definitely want the pirate. I'm gonna want that zombie mummy thing right there as well, because that'll go great with the Ghostbuster set. I want that Viking you saw with the Lego minifigures. I really dug the Viking in that set. Uh, we have a superhero, looks like a construction worker. Not really sure what that is. A gnome and Jimi Hendrix, but for a buck at the Dollar Tree, I definitely think I'm going to work on getting the rest of this line, especially since there's not that many left. There's like nine left, so why wouldn't I do it? So that's what I got. Like I said, just checking this out because I'm thinking of getting into the Playmobil for the Ghostbusters line, and they have a new set for How to Train Your Dragon coming out, which How to Train Your Dragon is my favorite animated movie series from the movies and the TV show. And there hasn't really been a decent toy line for that either, but the builds, the sculpts for the Playmobil Dragons just looks fantastic. So that's what I got for you today. I will probably definitely be getting the rest of these blind bags. And until that happens, play well, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.